Hi everyone, my name is Akha Sapkota and my student ID is MIT192823. In this video presentation, I am going to discuss about two powerful tools that is used in Linux. The first one is iftop and the other one is powertop. And in this video presentation, I am going to discuss and compare the some basic features about these tools and then summarize about them. So followed by this, I am going to give more brief information about these tools. So stay and let's, let's get into these tools uh, through the Kali. So what this iftop command is? It is a network analyzing tool that is used by system administrator to view the bandwidth release status. So uh, and uh, using this iftop command, we can monitor network interface bandwidth usage on the Linux operating system. So let's let's do something or explore this iftop command. First of all, I need to install it. For that, sorry, it um, I have already installed it, and it seems oh, no, it's installing. So the main installation process has been completed. So I'm going to go to manual of this command. For that, sudo man. it is where you can see the name of this command the synthesis descriptions options and many more if we want more information about this command we can just explore through here and I, I am going to back to the main terminal by pressing Q key from the keyboard and then I want to go to the if top windows for that sudo if top so here uh, this is the iftop windows in the first column i can see the ip address of source and in the second column i can see the dns of the destination in the third column i can see here uh, that is the bandwidth used in the latest uh, 20 in the last let two second and this one is for that is used by the last 10 second and that is used uh, during the last 40 second and here we can see that only the DNS but not IP for that we can just press N key from the keyboard to see the IP here we can see the IP of the destinations and 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 coming back to the DNS we can just press N again from the um, keyboard and then we can go to back to the DNS of the destination here uh, we cannot see any port uh, from where these uh, are uh, coming so we can just press P key from the keyboard so we can see the post display on and here we can see HTTP HTTPS ports so in so and then for coming back to the normal DNS we can again press P so that we so that it becomes it again goes to normal form and then for here we can see the IP address and if I want hide this IP address then I can just simply press S from my keyboard and, and all of these are uh, disabled so and to bring it again uh, we can again press S from the keyboard so this all can be seen again and for doing the same thing to the destination we can just press D from the keyboard and we can hide the destination and then again pressing D it brings back and and there is another one um, where we can uh, see the many of the uh, terminals sorry it's not terminal it's traffic and for the traffic we can just click T from our keyboard and then you can find this this is one line per host and only one line is showing for per host and we can take it back to view the another traffic signal that is received traffic only and by pressing T we can convert change this all uh, from our keyboard this is send traffic only this is traffic sent from here we can see the two lines per host and this uh, we can explore many more from these uh, commands or these tools in the Linux system so basically we can just um, explore and know more about the system or data or uh, bandwidth that is used by system and if any anything happens in our computer then we can just uh, simply jump into this and get knowledge about uh, knowledge more about this so my next command is um, power top command 
and I'm just going to install it in my system oh sorry I haven't put the install and I have already installed this so it is showing zero updated and newly installed so I'm, I'm going to directly jump into the manual command for power top so that I can find more many things about this where we can find the name power top consumption and power top uh, consumption and power management diagnosis tools this is a command that is used and description about power top options and many more so I'm going back to the terminal by pressing Q and for going to the power top window I am just typing set up power top PVC mode and this is the power top window where we can find many informations about the battery and power usage of our computer here in the first line the battery reports a discharge rate of 32.8 mW that is uh, we, uh, that is you can see the how fast our battery discharge and uh, and the power estimated time for remaining hours and estimated power shares and summary this is 285.8 wake up per second wake up per second indicates how efficiently the service and drivers of the kernel are performing it means that less wake up per second means the less power is consumed so here we can see many more information that 9% of the GPU CPU is used and the uh, uses uh, events and uh, categories and descriptions from this tab and when you when if you here we can see many more tabs idle starts frequency starts device starts and tunnels wake up as well so for going to these tabs we can just simply press t from the uh, press tab from the our keyboard so i'm going to press t and we can see here the starts of the cpu as well and then again press the t uh, takes me to the frequency stats and here you can see the ideal is 100% CPU 1 use and CPU 0 is also 100% use and 100% of the packages sent. So for going to the next tab, uh, device stats, I can press uh, tab again. So I, when I this is this is the device tab which is similar to our overview tab, but this provides the informations a similar uh, this provides informations only about the devices that are connected to it so we can see their estimated power is 41.5 and then uses is this much and and the packets network interface and many more so these are the devices usb device pci device and uh, and network devices that can be there are connected here so we can get more, more information about uh, the devices uh, in this tab so for going back uh, next uh, going to the next tab i just press t from here and we can see there this is the tab that provides information about how good and how bad our system is running and here we can see all these are bad that means that they are not working well or they are consuming more power that they uh, then they need so for converting these bad into a uh, good ones i i just gonna go to um, go back to the terminal and type some commands by pressing Q here we are and then for that I'm gonna pray I'm gonna type sudo and then out of space double iPhone two space T U M this must work and it's working and then I'm just going back to the win uh, power top windows okay and here we are and then directly to this two levels and we can see that all of the bad consumption are converted into good consumption so that we can make that or fix that or say that this uh, this computer or this pc or this system is working good now after converting that bad all the bad consumptions to good consumption so these are the tools that we can talk and discover about and and know more about our computer and uh, and our system. So using these uh, two tools, uh, we can find the network. How is network problem and how uh, any issues are there in 
battery so if top command basically gives more information about networking and bandwidth that our computer is using but this command gives the uh, gives information about battery and power consumption about our computer so i think i have told some of the functionality and importance of these tools so far now you can start if top and power top with command line parameter that can help you to do much more these tools are really 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 effective and, it, and can help you to encounter the issues before causing any harm to the system. I hope I have covered your curiosity and thanks for watching. Have a good time. Bye bye.